Hey folks, I'm just going to give you a look at some garlic uh, bulbils or buvils, and I'll show you some of the differences between them. So this is one of my several garlic beds. I decided to leave these ones to go to seed, or it's not really seed, but uh, to make bulbils, which is to let the so-called seed head uh, mature and ripen and develop um, these little tiny bulbs. Um, you can do this if you want to increase your seed stock for future plantings. Um, again though, these aren't true seed. These are actually uh, genetically identical to the actual bulb that was planted, or the clove that was planted to produce the bulb. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to do that with these couple of beds just to see what would happen and to build up a little bit of stock of bulbils to plant for uh, the next season. Now the most distinctive, uh, or one of the most distinctive of the types, is the Rokumbol. Rokumbol produces one of the largest bulbils. You can see these. These are like the size of a, almost a marble. Very big. You can get I think on average maybe 10 to 15, sometimes uh, a little more on the very big ones, but these are very large and they produce uh, bulbs with uh, several uh, cloves, like sometimes 10 or 12. Um, and these, because they're so large, they'll sometimes produce uh, a small uh, bulb just by planting each one of these. Uh, the following year. Now the next biggest is, here's an example of one, this is a purple stripe, uh, marbled purple, uh, produce similar size uh, bulbils. These ones are more like the size of a kernel of corn, and you can see the little flowers being produced here. Uh, what some people have done is you, if you pick out the bulbils, you'll get um, those flowers to mature and uh, they can produce actual true seed. Uh, I haven't successfully done that, but I've seen it done. And now another type of garlic that's very popular, especially in uh, colder climates, is porcelain. Now these porcelain, they produce um, cloves, or, or they produce bulbs that you should, with normally four or five cloves, generally and uh, many bulbils, but very small ones. Now you may or may not be able to see, but the bulbils on this, um, and these are called um umbles, like the whole thing is called an umble, and each uh, little kernel is a bulbil. Uh, so each one of these on the porcelain type are pretty small, about the size of a piece of cooked rice, or even the ones on the uh, inside are often the size of a piece of uncooked rice. Uh, the big advantage though is you get maybe several hundred on each uh, umble. So you could really build up uh, a stock of garlic after a span of a few years. Whereas with the rokumbol, you're going to have maybe 10 on each. So if you plant 10 umbles worth, you might get 10 heads of garlic, but it's definitely not going to be as exponential as starting with 100. Now just to compare, I have another type of rocambole. This is the Spanish Roja. It's a very popular uh, heirloom variety. I think it started uh, in Oregon. So th this one's really grown large. I think we only have six bulbils in this uh, head and yeah they're they're growing really well but it just shows you there is variance within each each type um, and also within each plant depends uh, one interesting thing is i read about a study that said that the most um, or the best predictor of the size of the actual uh, bulb that you harvest is how big the um, seed head is. 
Now, most people cut these off, and I don't advocate growing them out with, with the uh, bulb bills. So it is good to cut off the scapes and even eat the scapes. You can produce some really nice food with the scapes. But this is just kind of more of an experiment, and also I just wanted to get some of these to plant for next year. But I think in the future, now that I have enough of these, I'll be cutting them off, um, at least for most of them. Incidentally, some people have said you can only grow these for uh, the next season. I've had ones that I saved for two years, three years, and I've planted them, and uh, the germination may not be as, as good, but they still produced for me. So another downside is when you grow these is they're just going to all fall down a lot quicker. Uh, these are ready to harvest anyway, and I'll be doing that this weekend for sure. This one's one of the more interesting ones, called the uh, Majestic variety. It's a porcelain. And it's called Majestic, I think, because it goes up so high. This is as tall as me, and I'm around six feet tall, so really interesting. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.